because I play all of them, and, and the steel, pretty good, and the bass, a whole lot, the guitar is something that is interpreted by different people in different ways. It's only got six strings, usually 22 frets, sometimes 24 at the most. Every one that I've worked on, all those million guitars that i worked on, they're all a little different. The neck is a little different. They feel a little bit different. My, as you age, your, your ear picks up different frequencies, and, and uh, that's the fun of playing guitar and the mystery of it. Well, my dad took me through here on a tour when I was 11 years old, and because um, I was taking lessons on the lap steel at that time, and they were working on Eddie Arnold's guitar at that time, and I just thought that was so cool. So I, I came here and got a job shortly after I graduated. I went to work May 31st, 1956, for Gibson, and I worked all the way through until they closed down. I was 16 year old when I, I started here. Uh, since 1975 is when I first came to work for Gibson. So it's been 41 years, I guess, well, coming to this building. Yeah. Well, I came looking for a job um, in uh, 1958. They hired me and I started sanding rims just uh, on the other side of that wall. I worked here for the 31 years, Gibson 22. My dad, 37, so I've been around this old building for over 50 years, we'll put it that way. That'll, that'll cover the ground. I'm as old as that dirt down here. <laughs> I like things mechanical, you know, uh, but uh, because of my experience with Gibson, uh, that was kind of what we turned out to be. We were, that's, we were, we're guitar makers. And I always said that, you know, heritage is more than our name, it's what we are. When I started here at Gibson in 61, there were, I think, around 300 people. And I went into service in 66 and came back in 68, and there were over a thousand, as I recall. And we closed the plant in, uh, in June of 1984. June 30th, 1984 was the last production here. We reincorporated in uh, 1985, April 1st, uh, as Heritage Guitar. And that was how we started. And in the beginning, we weren't making just guitars. We were, we were making van parts and anything else we could make to sell. So it was, uh, it was not the easiest thing to do. As a matter of fact, you know, we went to the trade show and nobody needs another guitar company. <laughs> <laughs> and they still don't. So <laughs> they're all handmade, made in the USA. We don't we don't import and stick them together and call them American made. And and we made uh, flat tops, banjos, mandolins, basses. Well, I think that's real important because it you know it's what people want nowadays. I think people who care they want things that are handmade and with some effort put into them. We don't have programmable machines that copy one neck after another, one body after another. They're all a little different. Each, each instrument can have its own feel. We can't sell a, an American-made product that is second-rate. It has to be first-rate in every way. Now, there's no such thing as a perfect guitar, but we strive for perfection every day. sold our company to Archie and Jeff, and uh, they've owned it now since April 1st, 2016. Uh, they, uh, they had the same start date, April 1st, as we had in 1985, April 1st, April Fool's Day, so they'll have the same luck we had. <laughs> 
luck is not a plan, neither is hope, so. <laughs> Heritage has had, it, had their 31 years, and now, now somebody else has taken the name over, and I think it's gonna be great. You know, I can see myself and all these guys around here, you know, because I, I was there once. And I'll continue to come down and help Archie and those guys because I, I really have a lot of confidence in them. We were getting too old to run a business, you know, and uh, I think it was time. I, I think in our world it's not to restore 225 to a building or a place that builds mass production instruments, but it's to be a place where people will come and understand the history of what the American guitar was all about, come and understand the future of handcrafted, American-made guitars, and I hope the community of Kalamazoo embraces it. I hope the state of Michigan embraces it, and um, I'm excited. Um, I don't care about my personal legacy. What, what I want is, is, a, is a company to, uh, to survive, to take good care of the people that we have here. Uh, that's, that's really what I, what I want. You know, I want them to, to be able to uh, make a good living off it, to take care of them and their family. That'd be, that'd be good enough for me.